Oh, someone's trying to kill me! I didn't want to break in. It was my friend's idea. I, I swear. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> I got you good. Wait, no. I really saw them back there. We're in serious danger. Psh, your mind's just playing tricks on you. I mean, we are at the Rainbow Friends play place after all. The what? Wait. No, you've never heard of this place? You've never heard of them? Oh. No, I, I don't like little baby stuff. Oh, trust me, this story is not for little babies. Come on, follow me. I'll tell you the whole history. Rainbow Friends and their play place used to be the most popular family entertainment in town. Uh, everyone knows Odd World is the best place in town. They've got rides and funnel cake and prizes and- I know, dummy, but Odd World wasn't always here. The Rainbow Friends came first. It was opened a long time ago by a man who only wanted to show families a good time. He created the Rainbow Friends, a cast of colorful characters who would sing and dance and serve pizza to the guests. Everything was going great. Business was booming. Everyone loved the Rainbow Friends. Until it all changed. Rainbow Friends were no competition for Oddworld. Soon all the families started heading to the amusement park instead. Before long, the Rainbow Friends had no customers. Play Place became a ghost town. Without customers, there was no money. Without money, there was no way to pay his employees. Soon there was no one left to be the Rainbow Friends, and the man was all alone. But being alone has a way of changing a person. And this man wasn't going to let his dreams fall apart, not without a fight. He was going to put on a new show, one so grand that it would get all his old customers to come back. He just needed some new employees to be the Rainbow Friends. Some employees who would never, ever leave. Hello. Hi. I saw a Help Wanted ad for a new entertainer at Oddworld. It's weird, though. This phone number isn't the Oddworld phone number. Oh, this is our private hiring line. And guess what? We're ready to give you an interview. Nice. Come over right away. Just make a right at the sign. Will do. Wow, I'm in the middle of nowhere. How is this the way to our world? Please, help me. Good news, you've got the job. You're in your new home. You're going to be my newest rainbow friend. Isn't that exciting? Soon you'll be cherished by families all over Bloxburg. They'll come miles to see you perform. Bad news is, this is going to hurt. Wait, what? No, no, please! And the owner wasn't done yet. You can't have a rainbow with just one color after all. He tricked others to come by as well, including a blind man by lying where they were. He tricked another one by promising food. One guy almost got away. Come back. Don't you want to be my friend? But like I said, he almost got away. Boo. Soon, he had four rainbow friends. 
wasn't sure of what Play Place used to have. But the owner couldn't wait any longer. He needed to open now. Come one, come all. Come see the new and improved Rainbow Friends. Your family won't believe how realistic they are. Wow, they look so real! That's because they are real. Soon, Play Place was more popular than ever before. Everyone seemed to love the latest iteration of blue, green, orange, and purple. The owner was overjoyed. But the Rainbow Friends were not. All right, you got your guests again. Turn us back and let us leave. Turn you back? <laughs> Don't you get it? That transformation was permanent. You're going to be here forever. Well, if we can't go anywhere else, maybe it's time we made another friend. You know, so we don't get lonely. That's a great idea. After all, there is one more costume. Come on, boss. Don't you want to be friends with us? Wait, hold on. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking. You must have gone in here. Ha! Those idiots! They're not going to catch me! Oh, really? place closed down, but some say that the five rainbow friends are still here, stalking the halls, looking for another friend. No way. That's just some dumb baby story. Ah! <laughs> oh, it was just cardboard. You were so scared. No, I wasn't. Nothing scares me. Is it an exit? It's locked! <laughs> Gotta keep moving! Purple! No! This is a nightmare! <laughs> there! Come on, come on! Master Blue, you got this! Uh, are we almost there yet? According to this map, we should be there in a jiffy. No need to worry. Actually, that makes me very worried. Put that thing away before you get us all killed. Oh, right. Wow, it's beautiful. Odd world. Ah, here we go. Uh, hey, what are you doing? It was clearly straight ahead. Nonsense. The sign said Odd World was this way, and I always have to follow the signs. That's what my psychic says, anyway. Whoa. Did you see that? Uh, I'm scared. I'm sure it was nothing, guys. Just... Ah! Uh! Oh, my head. No! Uh? Somebody! Ah! No! Come on, she's a goner. And we will be too if we don't get out of here. <laughs> there, up ahead. We lost it. You guys okay? Um, define okay. Huh? Hey, uh, you alright, dude? You got a real Megamind thing going on with your head and... This must be the thing that rushed towards us. Be ready for anything. What did you say? You can talk? Yes, 
Please forgive my appearance and my demeanor. I have not been myself as of late and have become a bit hostile. You think? What is this place? What was that thing outside and where to take our friend? Yeah, and what's with all the black paint? You have many questions, but I worry you will not be able to handle the truth. Try us. Ah, this is the Rainbow Friend Play Place. What's left of it anyway? Its halls used to be filled with laughter and joy, but now it's grown silent, aside from the screams. You're right. Maybe we can't handle this. No, keep going. I am known as Red, or the Red Rainbow Friend. My compatriots are blue, orange, and purple, but I'm afraid they too have been taken by him. Him? The thing that attacked us? Yes. You see, that creature was the original Rainbow Friend, only instead of having color like the rest of us, he is made only of darkness. What happened to him? It's... it's all my fault. It all began many years ago. I was just a boy then. A silly boy with a silly dream, as my father put it. What is this? Still wasting time with these doodles of yours, Newt? Newt? Named after the great scientist Isaac Newton. My mother's choice, of course. Well, I asked you a question. They're not doodles. They're my friends. And someday, I'll make them real. Your friends? <sighs> this is worse than I thought. Your mother really did a number on you. And of course, she left me alone to deal with the consequences. <laughs> and now you're crying. You see what this supposed creativity has done to you? It's turned you into a blubbering whelp. Well, no son of mine is going to be some bleeding heart artist or egg-headed scientist. I'm going to set you straight. You see, my father only saw the world in black and white. There was no nuance, no beauty, only business. The only other color he could even pretend to percept was green. He didn't care about me, not truly. He only wanted to form me into what he considered the ideal son. But as I grew older, I knew that this perfect world he wanted for himself was just as pretend as my own dream. But mine didn't have to be. While I honored my father's wishes during the day, learning what I could about running a business, at night I devoted myself to science and the arts. I engorged myself on the color that existed outside of his sphere of influence, all in secret. I worked long and hard, and began building my dream. Until finally, it had come true. I told my father that I was starting a business of my own. For the first time, my old man smiled at me, until he saw what I had created. My father wasn't pleased, but I decided to give him the tour anyway. As we walked the halls, he saw my designs plastered on the walls, the same friends he thought I had long since abandoned. We eventually made it to my laboratory. There I explained just how I was going to truly bring my friends to life. My father had heard enough. His perfect son was a disgrace, and thus his legacy a lie. He lunged at me. But it wasn't ready yet. It all happened so fast. My father's body twisted and mutated. He grew larger and larger as his skin gave way to a black mass. And then, the transformation was complete. He was the original Rainbow Friend, Black. Dad. Newt, what have you done to me? I... I didn't mean to. You'll pay for this! Dad! So Black is... your father? Yes. For years I assumed he was dead. Until just yesterday, he resurfaced. The long time beneath the Earth's surface has driven him mad, and now he only wants revenge. That's awful. Let us help you, Red. We are no match for him. Our only hope is to hide, which is what the black paint is for. You see, in life, my father could only ever see the world in black and white. 
Nuance was lost on him, and the same applies now. So quickly, camouflage yourselves. Blue, you're alive! Red! Black's right behind me! We gotta move! Wait, who are these guys? They're Black's next victims unless we all get out of here. Follow me. Quickly now, we should be able to... Oh my god! A rainbow prince! He's captured them all! Yeah! I'm tired of running! I'll take you on! No, wait! Father, stop this! You are no son of mine! Wait, did you guys see that? Stepping into those colored lights hurt him! Let's do this! Your friends made you weak, and now that I've taken them from you, it's your turn. Hit it! Ow! The light! The colors! It burns! It's working! Keep it up! Of course. <laughs> nice try. Dad, this is for my friends. <laughs> it's over. We did it. So... Oddworld? to know me more? I suppose as new friends, I tell you a bit about myself. Come on guys, please, let me out! <laughs> it all started in high school. I may not have been a monster then, but I had plenty of them to deal with. The other kids picked on me for my height, calling me names like Beanpole. I tried to go to the principal, but they weren't any help. It only made things worse. My parents turned a blind eye to my problems too. They figured, due to my size, that I was just overreacting. But I couldn't take it anymore. I screamed, and I cried every night. It got so bad that my parents made me see a therapist. She even gave me a stress ball. She told me that whenever I felt sad, or lonely, or mad, that I should just give it a big squeeze! They made fun of me for that too! Sup, toothpick? Gross, he farted. <laughs> I didn't! <laughs> Loser. I finally had enough. In that moment, the monster inside took over! And suddenly, my size didn't seem so funny anymore. The faculty broke us up before things got too bad. But still, they knew now not to mess with me anymore. At least in high school. Many of us ended up going to the same local community college, and they actually started to be friendly to me. Apparently, I had earned their respect. But that, too, was all just a trick. 
One day they invited me somewhere, out on the outskirts of town, called the Rainbow Friends Play Place. I had heard about it before, but I only knew that it was some kind of kid's birthday party venue with dumb mascots. Still, if they wanted to go, I wasn't about to question it. Me and my new friends loaded up in a car and were off, though something seemed fishy about the trip from the start. When we finally got to the play place, it looked like it was closed, abandoned even, and it didn't take long before I understood what we were really doing there. Alright, Stretch. These guys lock all the windows and doors on the first floor real tight. Which is why you're gonna reach right up there and open that one. But... but that's wrong! Come on, man. I thought you were cool. I... okay. I did as they asked, and had no problem breaking in. It was eerie in there, but I wasn't about to let my new friends down. Haha! <laughs> What'd I tell ya? The Jolly Green Giant was useful for something after all. Before I had a chance to argue, we heard a terrible noise <laughs> echo off the walls. What? What? What was that? Nothing. It was probably just the wind, right? Y yeah the wind. I was scared. More scared than I'd ever been in my entire life. Put that stupid thing away. You don't want us to get caught, do you? Now spread out. This place has got to have a safe somewhere. My parents took me here as a kid. The owner must have made bank. They were trying to rob the place. It was not long before they realized that Rainbow Friends Play Place had the strongest security system around. <laughs> Thing here. Ah! Ah! Jeez, don't sneak up on me like that, beanpole. Listen, I think we should get out of here, man. Whatever you're after, it's not worth it. Ha, <laughs> I knew you were just a big scaredy cat. There's nothing here but you and me. Uh, uh, look, look behind you. Huh? I ran as fast as I could. I kept running and running until I made my way to Odd World. High up above on the pier, people were having fun. Meanwhile, I was far below, running madly for my life from a monster that defied all reason. The entire world went dark. No one found me until the next morning. I was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do for me. I was permanently blinded. All because I sacrificed my values and tried to fit in with those morons. Everyone came to see me, though I couldn't see them. The school staff who allowed me to be treated this way. The therapist who suggested a placebo. My parents who paid me no mind until it was too late. All the other kids who stood by and watched my torment. But not my tormentors themselves. No, I knew they would never be heard from again. I smiled to myself at that thought. But my happiness quickly turned to shame. I turned everyone away. I didn't want any visitors. That didn't stop him from getting in, though. Hello, my friend. How are you feeling? Who are you? I told the staff no visitors. Ah, but I am not just any visitor. I am here on behalf of a very prestigious law firm. They say you have a real case against Oddworld. Why not give it a try? Don't you want to make those who wronged you hurt? Those who wronged me? There's too many of them to count. All right, then. Let's do this. Good. I can see your passion. Come with me. I will introduce you to my team. They will take care of you. Unbeknownst to me, the man led me straight back to the Rainbow Friends play place, though I only realized once it was too late. 
Just stand there, please. My associate will help get you strapped in. Strapped in? Indeed. Now hold still. Blue? Wait, I know that sound. It's that monster. What's going on? No, no! Come now. This will only hurt a bit. Please, let me go! I was the second rainbow friend. He called me Green, which I liked more than Beanpole. While he could not cure my blindness, he provided me with what I always wanted. Friends. Real friends. And soon, he became my friend too. So, what do you think? That's so awful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Sorry? Sorry? Weren't you paying any attention? I love it here. And you will too. What? What do you say? Won't you be my friend? <laughs> This rain came out of nowhere. My shoes are totally soaked. What do we do now? Look up ahead. We can take shelter in there. Looks like we have our newest batch of friends. They're already scared. I can hear it in their voices. I call the big one. He looks tasty. Come on, in positions, everyone. We have a job to do. Oh, I can't wait to scare myself some teenagers. I'm gonna totally turn a corner, look them straight in the face, and shout. Oh. Ah! What the? Hello? Is someone there? I'm warning you. I'm not someone you want to mess with. I'm really scary. Not as scary as you're going to be. to me. So say it with me now. Ah! Ah! Your mother, tell you not to play with your food, Green. Blue, is that you? You sound different than usual. Never mind that. Now leave. I'll handle the human. Hey! You're not the boss of me. This one here is mine. I don't think so. I'll be taking her and all the others for myself from now on. Is that so? Hey, wait! So, what made you grow a spine all of a sudden? This spine is under new management. Huh? messed up but that big-headed guy said I gotta feed this thing if we're gonna make it out of here so that's what I'm gonna do now that's what I call service Ugh! You, you can talk I can do a whole lot more than that uh, I, I can find you more food packs nah, 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 nah. don't trouble yourself besides why settle for a hamburger when I got a fresh juicy steak right here S steak? <laughs> All the trespassers belong to me now. White, blue, this is my kill. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, 
What the heck's gotten into you? What's the matter? Can't seem to break the skin. <laughs> this is too easy. You think you've won? We've got numbers on our side. You're a hungry boy, aren't you? Don't worry, I got just the thing. Two down, one to go. Oh, this just got a lot more fun. <laughs> Guys? Is anyone there? I can't find the last battery. Huh? It's fun down here, you'll see. Ha ha ha, there's no point in resisting. Uh, who are you? Wait, no, no, no! Huh? Ah! Yeah. Hi, you now. Up for another game of tug of war? Blue? I really wish people would stop calling me that. Now, come here! We... go. Well done. Looks like we're back in business. Thanks for turning the power back on. Sure. Now let me and my friends go. Of course. A deal's a deal after all. But first, I'm going to throw you a goodbye party. Quit playing games! We did your stupid tasks. Bring my friends back here and show us the exit right now before I... But if I drop in... Ah, Blue. Nice of you to join us. The other rainbow friends have been dealt with, just as you requested. You know, it took quite some time to program a code that could control the animatronic parts inside of you, Blue. My hard work has paid off. A much more subservient than before, yeah. friend. Stupid girl. What have you done? Stop! Before we watch the ending, did you know that less than 15% of you are subscribed to the channel? That's crazy! Do yourselves a favor and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more awesome Rainbow Friends content. Alright, back to the video. Run and hide, quickly, while you still have the chance! That's all you care about, isn't it, Red? Forcing people into becoming your twisted friends. What? You failed as a business owner. You let everyone around you down. You are an embarrassment to your own father. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. So you did something horrible. You tricked all of us into coming to this place. You turned us into hideous monsters. I did what I had to. And it worked. For a while. But after we turned you into a rainbow friend yourself, you lost all control. We should have ended you then and there when we had the chance. But we pitied you. We thought you had become one of us. But now? After all the terrible things you've made me do, green, orange, purple, I see that you will never be like us. You're an evil that must be destroyed. Oh, little innocent blue. Do you think you're the hero of this story? You're a monster, just like me. In fact, you're worse. I had a reason to do what I did. You chose to kill, because deep down, you know you love it. You're wrong. What I do, I do to protect the Rainbow Friends! Give it up, Red! It's over! <laughs> you think you've won? You will never be rid of me. Red will live on forever. Is... is it over? No. Your nightmare's just begun. <laughs>